what's up everybody welcome to my channel in this tutorial today i'm going to be sharing with you how you can set up a microsoft sql server rds on the aws cloud platform now you might be hearing the term rds and wondering what it stands for it pretty much simply stands for amazon relational database services it is pretty much a managed services by amazon that allows you to easily set up configure and scale databases in the cloud so you no longer have to worry too much about backups patching servers additional disk space amazon will take care of that for you all you have to do is just scale your machine accordingly so i'm not going to really dwell on the theory too much although it's good for you to understand but the aim of my channel here is to give you as much practical experience as possible through my videos so i'm going to head over to aws.com the free tier and just log into my console so you can just head over to amazon.com slash free and make use of the free tier that is available to you so i'm just gonna sign in and access my account once you have successfully logged in you can go from the search bar and search rds but i've recently visited the rds services so i'm just going to select RDS from the recently visited section. Select create database. Now here you have two options to create the database the standard and then you have the easy create. So if we go with the standard create option we won't be able to utilize the free tier that Amazon provides us with. So I am going to be selecting the easy create option. Now these are the different types of database systems which you can create RDS for as you know the popular ones are pretty much Oracle Postgres and Amazon database itself Aurora and MySQL and MariaDB but we're going to be using a Microsoft SQL Server. So we're going to be selecting the free tier so it's minimal resource. Specify your DB identifier so I'm just going to say MRRDS. And here you have the option of auto generating a password or you can create your own master password. Now think of this admin password as your SA password as if you're setting up your SQL server on an EC2 instance or an on-premise SQL server. So I've specified my password and I'm going to create database. So the creation of the database is still in progress, status saying creating. So our database is now available and we can view our credentials from this menu here. Now you want to make sure you save your password in a secure place. So now we need to connect to our RDS SQL Server using Management Studio. So in order to connect, we need to grab our endpoint, copy, so you're going to specify the endpoint name as the server name and the username is admin and then we're just going to grab, grab our password and log in. So in order to connect to our database, I'm going to have to make a small modification and that is allowing public access to the RDS database. This is because I don't have a VPC, which stands for Virtual Private Cloud. So in most organizations, you'd have pretty much like a site-to-site -site VPN, which is pretty much a VPN that allows your organization to connect directly to the Amazon cloud services. So that's, that's pretty much it in summary. So I'm going to have to enable public access to be able to successfully connect to this database. Click on your DB identifier. So I'm going to select modify and then we're going to scroll down and search for connectivity and enable publicly accessible. So scroll down and continue. And we're going to apply immediately modify DB instance. So our database is still being modified. So, so once that is completed, we should be able to access it publicly. So our database is now showing a status of available. Let's try connect with Management Studio. So there we go. We have successfully connected to our RDS SQL Server database. Now another thing we want to do 
is modify our security group and allow connection only for our for your laptop or whatever machines you are connecting from since as you will be allowing public access to your machine so edit inbound rules add rule we're going to be searching for MSSQL specify your laptop or your IP address so this is my laptop IP save rule and let's just edit this one and change the properties so let's just delete the security group save rules you can give it a name so I'm gonna say MR-LT now let's go back to management studio and ensure we can still successfully connect to our so expand databases and let's just try and create a new database let's create it as sample okay and that's pretty much all you create your RDS SQL server in AWS so in my next video I will be sharing with you how you can migrate from an on-premise SQL server to an RDS SQL server so that's it for now guys thank you for watching see you in the next video